Congresswoman Stacey Plaskett represents the U.S. Virgin Islands. It's a territory that was torn apart by hurricanes Irma and Maria, and the relief effort is one of her focuses here at Congress. She's also part of the committee that was responsible for questioning Michael Cohen. I'm Sally Ihan, and I'll be speaking to Congresswoman Stacey Plaskett one-on-one. -on -one. Let's talk about Hurricane Maria. Mm -hmm. Virgin Islands was incredibly impacted by that hurricane. What's the state of, of the Virgin Islands right now? The Virgin Islands was first struck by Hurricane Irma. Um, and Irma hit us as a Category 5, and it went across St. John and St. Thomas. And then Maria came um, less than two weeks later uh, as a Category 5 in the Virgin Islands and hit um, our third island directly, uh, St. Croix, and had impacts in the other islands as well. And I'm only bringing that up because so much of the focus has been on what happened in Puerto Rico that people often forget, and that's the issue that we face in the Virgin Islands, that there's so much attention on our large sister uh, next door that they've forgotten what happens to us. Up until October, um, our children still, in some instances, were only in school for four hours a day because we had to share facilities. And now they're just in modulars as we're awaiting approval from the federal government for plans to rebuild. Prior to these hurricanes, uh, Congress had said under the Stafford Act that we are gonna give you funding to rebuild as it was before the storm. And they've changed the law to apply for the Virgin Islands and Puerto Rico to say we will give you funding to rebuild as it should be which means that we got a much larger pot of funding for resilience and with the recognition that this is going to happen again. What's your reaction to the Manafort case and his relationship with Donald Trump? I'm, I'm shocked that Americans, more Americans, are not, um, have great angst at the fact that the President of the United States has so many associates who have been convicted of crimes. Is that saying that the president himself has done that? I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is, is that it's problematic, the associations he's made. While I am not a fan of Michael Cohen, you know, during my line of questioning, he attempted to joke with me and I stopped him because in some ways I feel that we're in this crisis because of the actions that he has done. But I am, from a very uh, surgical point of view, look at the fact that he, much of the things that he said had corroborating evidence, that being demonstrable pieces of paper with checks and um, statements that he was able to provide to the committee. And we'll also look at the witnesses, the list of individuals that he gave us who were able to corroborate the uh, testimony that he gave to see if in fact he's true. Um, and I think because he was able to present those, that much of the testimony that he gave was in fact truthful. And one of your colleagues, Rashida Tlaib, has called for Donald Trump to be impeached. Mm -hmm. What's your position on that? No, I don't believe. We, I'm not interested in going down the road of impeachment of the president. I am here to ensure that the American people um, see that we are keeping the president to his word and where he has erred to allowing the American people to see it. And it's my belief that in doing that and exposing any wrongdoing on the part of him, that better than impeachment, the American people will just not give him another four years in 2020. Is what's happening at the border a national emergency? No, it's not a national emergency. I'm considered a strict constructionist of the Constitution, and so for the president to try and thwart the powers that the Constitution gave the legislature, he asked for funding for a specific thing, and Congress told him no. Uh, and it is Congress's job to appropriate funds and to make laws. It is the president's job to manage those laws and to manage the, the government. Creating a crisis so that he can appropriate funds, I think is complete misuse of his powers. I think that he would be better spent um, utilizing his office to do the things that he has been, that the Constitution has asked them to do, is to make sure that all Americans are treated fairly, um, to uphold the Constitution, to be the uh, executive officer and the commander in chief.